these are the drawers I'm gonna put the linings in and of course as you can see we have glue creep probably would have been better for me to hit that initially when I glued it up with some a damp cloth or brush with some water on it right now what I'm doing is I'm just taking a chisel a nice sharp chisel and I'm just going on those inside corners and I'm scraping that glue off you can't have those glue bumps in there because your linings need to sit right up against the edges all the way around so I have to chisel that out and that's gonna take me a little while these drawers that are in here and the linings really look nice but I just have to scrape all that extra glue out so Okay, so now I just finished cutting out the glue out of the corners of this, so now I'm ready to put the blood wood inside the drawers. Uh, that's on the table saw right now, I just milled that up this morning, and uh, we're gonna throw that in there. I'm gonna put a little chamfer on the corners so that everything is nice and smooth and looks nice, and uh, that will be perfect. That's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so I'm ready to go get started cutting up these bloodwood pieces to throw in my drawer. That's gonna look super. Uh, I'm gonna show how I do that all here. It's pretty critical making sure that all the tolerances fit nice because you're gonna be able to see the top joints on everything. So you have to pay close attention to that. You have to make sure that your detail is there. Everything is, is, a, is a precise fit. I'm gonna be showing how I throw on the dado blades and then cut the last little chamfer on the end pieces so that everything fits nice in the end. Then I'm also gonna be chamfering the corners just a little bit so that you have nice smooth edges that'll all look really good so let's get started Okay, so I have all the pieces cut now. These are all the bottoms. These are the sides. These are the uh, ends here on either end. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a rabbit right down this corner so that when this all goes together, it will have a nice join. It will look much more interesting. So it'll look like this, but this is gonna be rabbited in so that each side is inset into this end a little bit. That'll make, that'll look really nice. It'll be a little more sturdy and it will glue up better. So I got the dado blade set up here. This is just to bring this up to a quarter inch and that will give me the right size kerf.
One other thing that I'm going to do today is make a spring for the mechanism, one of the mechanisms in the puzzle chest, and it's going to be a wood spring. What I'm actually doing, the application I want, I want something like this, but I want this to flex out like that. So that is the spring on the end here. So what I did is, um, this is just the test piece, but I just drilled a hole here, and then I cut right through it. And then what I'm going to do is add a little dowel in between. Of course, this is blown up, it's gonna be smaller than this. Then you'll have this type of flex. And the nice thing about this spring is, because I wouldn't rely on wood springs to hold their tension over time if they were in a flex position. But this one is going to be at rest in this position so that the only time the force is applied is when the mechanism is actually working. <laughs> so good um i cut it and uh, the problem is first off this doesn't make it flex out i drilled my hole too big and I, I i mean i could just make a bigger pin but that'd be more work what i'm actually gonna do is not use a pin and just use a flat piece of wood that means i need to make my groove here quite a bit deeper and then i'll put the piece of wood back here and then it will spring like it's supposed to So I'm getting really close to finishing the puzzle chest. Excited about that. So this is going to be one of the final videos, but I probably have a couple more coming. So thanks for, thank, uh, you know, uh, stay tuned and I'll see you later.